Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. Today we're looking at the new Ruger Max 9. They introduced it a couple weeks ago. They're going head to head with SIG, Springfield now, the M&P Shield Plus with a very small subcompact 9mm handgun with a double stack magazine. This is a 12 round magazine. They also make a 10 round magazine for the Max 9. And they did a real nice job with it. Now Ruger does a good job of introducing a gun, having reviews ready to go, and already being shipped to the distributors. They are out and available now. MSRP is $499, but I've had people tell me that they picked theirs up for $430, $440, and that is pretty good considering everything this gun offers. Now, it's very thin. If you look at the grip, you can see how thin it is. The slide is thin, 2.95 inches wide on the slide. Nice grip texturing, mimics the Security 9 in terms of the way it feels, not overly textured, textured like a medium feel to it. It also comes with a thump safety. This one does not have the thump safety. All right, some people mistook that for a thump safety. It's not, this is called the Pro model. Once again, $499. Now all the models, whether it's thump safety or not, are optic ready. And that is a nice touch by Ruger. Okay, it's cut to fit. 13 or 14 of the most popular red dot optics out there. And a lot of people find that advantageous. It does have a little bit taller serrated black rear sights and a fiber optic tritium front dot sight in, in the front. And that's a nice touch too. It aligns very nicely. And the trigger does have a trigger bar safety. I'm measuring it right at five pounds. There's your initial pull at five pounds and the reset is right there. They created a very light and small handgun. All right, the unloaded weight, 18 and 3 8 ounces, loaded with 11 rounds, 23 ounces even. So they did a, a nice job right out of the gate. You know, it does have front serrations on there and a reversible magazine release as well as optic ready that a lot of people are looking for these days. Let's go ahead and load it up and we'll fire the Ruger Max 9. I had several people request for me to shoot the Max 9 next to the Ruger Security 9 to see which one shoots flatter. So let's take care of that right now. We'll start out with the Max 9. Now the Ruger Security 9. The Ruger Max 9 has a 3.2 inch barrel with an integrated barrel bushing at the muzzle. See the way that looks? The advantage there is that each time the slide is cycled, it locks up nice and tight that aids with accuracy and I could attest to that. Now, I've shot it quite a bit. I put various loads through it, including cheap reloads and it has functioned very well. However, one of the greatest critiques in my table review was that the takedown process was too lengthy and it included a pin that needed to be punched out. So here's the gate there. You would push that down to expose the pin and from the other side I used a punch to punch out that pin. And that's a valid critique. Many people said that, hey, today's technology they should be able to disassemble or create a firearm disassembled so that you don't need to punch out a pin. However, you don't need to walk around with a punch to disassemble it. I'm in the National Forest right now. I'm pretty sure I can find a stick to do that. However, it is true if you lose that pin, then you're in trouble. 
so you don't lose the pin, I guess. But what I'm wondering now is will the gun charge itself if a mag is slammed home? Let's see. And it does. It also has a sight hole indicator on the side there and on top. So I can see that it is loaded. But what this review really needs right now is a lip wrist test. So let's see how it does with a lip wrist test. Nice! So it passed. So there it is, the Ruger Max 9 performed great at the range. I mentioned in my tabletop review that I'm not going to add an optic to it because I like the way it is right now. It's really nice. I like that front sight and the way it aligns and the five pound trigger just works for me. The 12 round magazine, which is in it right now, is the way to go. That three finger contact feels great. It's very light, 23 ounces with 11 rounds. You add a couple more rounds, you're looking at maybe 23 and three quarters ounces. It's very light, very thin, makes for a great carry gun. And I certainly did enjoy it at the range. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.